I would like to introduce you all again to the psych creators and cast. Let's start with executive producer Christopher Henze. Chris Henze, Kirsten Nelson. Carbon Burnson. Maggie Lawson. Steve Franks. Woo. Dule Hill. And James Roday. I'm forgetting someone. Who am I forgetting? Who am I forgetting? I think I'm forgetting the super... What's up, psychos? <laughs> I'm forgetting the super secret moderator. You may know him as Woody the Coroner. Kurt Fuller! Been an honor. Been an honor. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Kurt Fuller, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so, question one. Did you enjoy the film? <laughs> nice. All right. Well, I have some questions. Nobody knows what I'm going to ask, really, because we, we didn't really plan this. Um, but my first question, really, is to Chris and Steve. From when the show ended, people have been asking for more, and it's been four years. Why now? How did it happen? How did you get to this point where this fabulous movie's on the screen? <laughs> Why now? Well, we knew we had the greatest fans in the history of basic cable television. <laughs> <laughs> and we knew from the beginning that we wanted to do a movie because we just wanted to hang out with each other. And we, so I actually started saying, we're going to do a movie about the middle of season seven. So we could start the process thinking it would take about five years. And fortunately, these people out here have been creating Twitter accounts, oh Psych God. the Movie, and have been <laughs> knocking on doors to the point where the people at USA Network could no longer say no. You demanded it, and we took the charge. Wow. Wow. Well, thank you. Thank from the you. bottom of my heart, and thank you from the bottom of all our hearts. Yeah. Um, James Dulay, you were a part. You were, you were basically Hope and Crosby, Seals and Croft, <laughs> Ebony and Ivory. It'd been four years. You got back Roland Osabel and Michael Jackson. <laughs> you got back on the saddle. And I'm going to say from my observation, Dulé, you, you hit the ground running. You were Gus from the first second. James. Yeah. Yeah, this is just one actor to another. Yeah, it's friend. Just, just pretend like nobody else is here. Just, just okay. tell me what's You're pretty on much mind. responsible for my career since 2010. <laughs> But you were a little slow. I was a little slow out of the gates. I felt like it took you half a day to get yeah. going. Am I right or am yeah. I wrong? I mean, it's weird because you weren't there. But the truth is... <laughs> I heard stories. There was but... rust. There was rust that had to be uh, shaken off. Yeah. But did it feel like... I mean, it seemed to me... No, it was very intimidating because there was no rust on, on <laughs> Dulé. Yeah. No was, rust on Gus. He was already... Yeah. <laughs> He was already tapping before we rolled on the first shot. I was like, how can you be doing that? Yeah. How? I'm a tap dancer. Roger. That's right. That's how. <laughs> James, James had been used to so much more blood and dead bodies over yes. the last few years. He didn't know what to do with just one. And uh, uh, James, you're wearing... A... This is the same T-shirt that I wear at the end of the movie, you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, tonight and in the film, uh, we honor one of our favorite, most beloved psychos, Christina Grimmie, and her family is here tonight. That's right. Where are the Grimmies? It would be weird You're if right, they right took right off there. already, right? <laughs> there they are. Hey. Thank you. 
We love you. We love your daughter. Her light will be with us always. Thank you, Kurt. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to get to the back row in a second. Uh, <laughs> you were wondering why you're back there. Uh, Dulé. Yes. You have a real love interest in this. I do. I mean, you... And, and when, I, when I saw the movie, I, w I was looking at it and I go, my God, is he acting? <laughs> you know what I mean? See, the thing is, when you're doing a psych movie with your real-life fiancé... What? You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? I really am engaged to the lovely Jasmine Simon. You know what I mean? Oh, Did you all enjoy here? her role? Did you enjoy her as Sailor name? Yes. And she is here right now. Jasmine is sitting right over there. Yes! Show your beautiful hey, ladies, baby. Stand on up. Show your beautiful face. Oh, Jasmine, stand up. <laughs> Come on. Uh, it was, uh, I, had a, I mean, we had a blast working together. We have so much fun at home cracking each other up. I mean, uh, I, don't, I didn't think I could ever meet somebody who was as nutty or even more nuttier than me. <laughs> me neither. Yeah. And, she, <laughs> and she is it. She keeps me laughing all the time. So the fact that we got a chance to bring it to the screen was lovely. Awesome. Awesome. Now let me get to the back row. Thanks, Kurt. <laughs> Kirsten. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Come baby. I'm sorry. Come on. You, I, and I'm not saying this because it's this and you're here and yada, 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 yada. To me, that is the best performance I ever saw you give in any of the psych episodes. You had dimension, and I think, you tell me, but I think it was because... You were playing a mother who, a strong, loving woman with obviously an absentee father uh, who, who had to stand up not just for her job and for her friend and her partner, but for her family. And I thought it brought another dimension that I'd never seen. Aww. Kurt, come on, thank you. Um, I think that that really just goes back to what Steve and James put on the page, um, that they really trusted the chief um, to kind of bring another layer to her. And I, having the daughter there in our mix um, brought all of this group together. And when one of our own was tested yeah. or in trouble, it just really showed the love on another level of what this group will pull together um, when one of our own is in danger. And I loved that part of wow. her. So that is it beautiful. Was great. And that is part of the charm and the draw of this show is that as close as everybody is on screen, they're that close in real life, too. And I can attest to that. Um, Nobody I, knows when you're kidding or being serious. <laughs> no. Well, I owe each and every one of these people $1,000. Yeah. Um, okay, Corbin. Yes, Kurt. You're going last. Maggie. <laughs> yes, Kurt. Now, tell me if this is a coincidence, but there is a pretty long scene about a dog in this movie. There sure is. And that dog has a tag on its collar that says, and I think it's bright and it's given a special effect. Very shiny. Tiger Francis. It's called a Sean Vision. <laughs> oh, that's right, Sean Vision. Yes. Now, thank you. God, this is what producers are for. Uh, is that a, just an amazing coincidence that you run Tiger Francis... It's wild, yeah. yeah they what? had Weird. no idea. They had yeah. no idea. Wow. And it just showed up in the script, and uh, yeah. Of course they knew. Oh. Um, it means so much that uh, you guys put Tiger Francis into this, uh, into this movie. And um, I also want to say thank you to all the psychos who have supported... Yeah. For many reasons, but for supporting Tiger Francis and uh, over the years and, and tonight, uh, the Psychos uh, delivered this beautiful gift to us and uh, it means everything. So thank you. I see you guys over there. Um, uh, yeah. Plus that dog was awesome. Envy. Yeah. And I also want to say, reiterate, that you as well, the women in this are very strong and yet... It's written by men. Well, how, I, how did that happen? <laughs> That's rare. Well, a huge thank you to Steve and James for writing. I'm sure Chris had some. To and do Chris. With it. Oh, absolutely. I said, there's no way this is getting made without the strongest female characters. There we go. 
because that's how we do it. Yeah. <laughs> now, Cor Corbin, we yes, come to good. you. In this movie, I think you had uh, you had a new partner, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I had to you, work with you. Yeah, <laughs> you were working with. As you said, but, you know, I, I guess it's time to let the secret out. What? I actually said I won't do the movie unless Kurt's in it. That's how you ended up here. Because <laughs> otherwise they said, uh, Kurt Fuller again, really we've seen the joke. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, all right. Thank you, Corbin. Corbin, that was great. Thank you for your input. Uh, so glad we waited all this time to get to you. Um, all right, now, we have... And so that's it. You just blow me off after that. <laughs> I think you said everything that needs to be said. Uh, Clearly. But, okay, here's, here's, here's another question. Yep. Oh, you do have another question. There's a great bad guy, don't you think, in, in the film? And, and, Corbin, you were there from the start. How do you think he compares to some of the other great bad guys over the years. It's a good question. Yeah. Very good question. Very good question. Really yeah. good question. What do you think? I Who have no idea that? what you're talking about. The bad guy in the film? How does he compare to the other bad... Oh, in other shows. Oh. Of Psych. Like past episodes. Past episodes. I never saw an episode, compare? so I'm not sure. Yeah. It's tough. There's no IQ tough. test to get into this cast. We've had some good bad guys over we the years. We had good bad guys. Check, check. I think I can answer that question, actually. <laughs> Wait, what? What? <laughs> Are you going to talk about me? What's going on, psychos? My mic wasn't working. I'm just going to stand. It's more powerful to stand. Uh, Zachary Levi, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Zachary Levi. That's me. I've always wanted to be in the Cinerama Dome. Yeah. By the way, I still haven't seen the movie. Was it good? <laughs> I'm glad you guys liked it. But the bigger question is, was Zach good? Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? He wanted to come. That's the appropriate answer. We wouldn't, we wouldn't let him come and sit and watch because we didn't want to give away his presence. I was, James told me that if I showed up, I could sit in the back and I could actually watch the movie. Yeah. Now I can't I, even talk about it. I totally meant it when I said it. I felt <laughs> like it was a real thing. That could, you look a little bigger, bro. I've been working out, bro. You've been working out a little? <laughs> I'm working out and eating whole chickens. And why is that? Eight Eight live eight. chickens, beak and all. It's really not tasty. Yeah. It's really great that, you know, Psych the movie has kind of launched... You know, yeah. you. My, yes. I know, I know. And My post-Chuck career, really, I have e has everything to do with Psych the Movie. <laughs> hey, Zach, you're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. I heard it was all about you. You said specifically that uh, in the same way that Corbin made sure that Kurt was in the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly what I said. You helped me get into the... Me. Yeah. yeah, so thank you're you. welcome. You're adorable. No, Zach was actually very method in this movie. This not true. once did he not have the English accent. That's that true. true. We That's true. Or the not I was, yeah, I was, I was really gonna say, or the orange hair. I was kind of freaked out at where was it, San Diego, when you dropped the accent. I thought, I thought you just had become English. <laughs> yeah. You just become an Englishman. Yeah. Yeah. Englishman. Sometimes I got to do that. <laughs> yeah. You could toddle over to your chair over there. Oh, do I have a chair? Yeah, we have a chair for you over here. Got you a chair. Excuse me. Sorry, it's a tight fit. Oh, this boy. is better. Tight fit. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. There it is. Excuse me. It's a dance. It's He's doing a dance. It's scarred for life. Yeah. Isn't that from Fight Club? When they wow, say, is the it the butt or the crotch? Man. Anyway. <laughs> you guys all look so fancy with your pineapple so Zach glasses. Zach the front row, huh? Well, all to right. answer your question, Kurt, I'm going to say Zach is easily top eight villains yep. of all time. And, and, and the best in the last four years, I think. Yeah. He's it's a new bench. Yeah. He's set out of the, out of 121 episodes. That's pretty good. That's pretty yeah. darn good. I'll take those odds. Yeah, you're getting into college, kid. <laughs> it's a community college, but it's top notch. <laughs> hey, but you're still getting there, brother. All right, now can I ask another question? Yes. Uh, there's talk of there being more films, right? I mean, it's out there. First of all, would you guys be up for more psych movies? All right now. Would you guys be up for more psych movies? Oh, yeah. Only if you're in it. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, son. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, then it's decided. I, I, Wait, I don't Kurt, know what to sign. 
would you be excited for and up for another psych? Yeah, because we know you're a busy yes. guy. We know you're a busy dude. I am busy, but yes, I'm available. <laughs> My goodness, where do I stand in line? <laughs> they just got to tell us when and where to show up. I was, I was right in the opening scene in the wings there as we were waiting, so we're, we're game and down cool. for it whenever they want to. Well, you're it. the guy, so. Well, I'm not writing the check, so it's okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Now, do I Universal want to take cable some uh, questions from the audience at this point? Is that good? Yeah. Only if they have it. some. Otherwise, it'll be super uh, yeah. awkward. I'm, I'm a, I think we have a mic. Uh, are the mic's out? Is that here? This is like, let's make a deal. You could win. Uh, <laughs> what do you have in your purse? Yeah. <laughs> All right. We've got uh, someone right there. Right there. Um, can you... What? I need to... <laughs> Kittens. Wait, what's your name? What's your name? Okay, uh, my name is Get difficult. It's Aurélie, because I'm French. Because oh. French. Yeah. Well done. Well played. Guys, I'll, <laughs> I'll take this answer in yeah. French. Go ahead. Uh, can you say something in French for the French fans? Oh. Oh, oh yeah, of course. Uh, je m'appelle Steve. Uh, Est-ce que vous avez un crayon? Uh, Yannick Noah Marion Cotillard. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. I, I, I think we've insulted your people, and thank you. Uh, another question, favorably from an American. Uh, here, right here. A, a, a mic is coming. Calm down. Thank you. I'm Laura. Hi, Laura. Hey, Laura. Hi, Laura. Um, what do you think was the most difficult thing to film in the movie? Oh, that's a no-brainer. Yeah. Max? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, for me, it was uh, my scene with Tim. Oh. I know, I took it there, so I'm... I, I'm but it was, it was the most difficult for everybody. Yeah, it was, it was a very emotional day for me and for all of us, and it was, uh, it was really beautiful. The whole cast... Some of you had rapped already and came back uh, to be there in support of Tim for the scene. We had crew members that drove over from the production office and everyone showed up. It was actually a really powerful, beautiful moment and for Team Tim, so yeah. But difficult because you had just eaten a garlic parmesan chicken sub and I have a, uh, this the gullet was a little sour. I yeah, get upset. The, I, yeah. I tend to get stomach. Yeah, so yeah. it's a whole thing. But um, so there was two was really things happening was, at the same time. <laughs> it was difficult yeah. for a few reasons. Yeah. This uh, young lady here with the lovely glasses on. There we go. I might take them off for this part. <laughs> Hi, uh, my name's TQ. That's right. Yeah, it's happening. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. All right. uh, December seventh is my birthday, so I'm super. Happy excited. birthday! Thank you. Okay. And um, watching the credits, this is really loud. Um, watching the credits, I saw that Essie Hinton did the voice of Pony Boy. So, what other things are we missing? And that was awesome. That's a good catch. <laughs> uh, yeah, crazily enough, Essie is a big uh, psycho, as we learned over social media. And we've made so many outsiders references over the years that we contacted her and said, hey, do you want to be the voice of a dream pony? <laughs> She was like, yeah. <laughs> so Did Stay you? Gold is spoken by the woman who wrote it. Uh, do we have anybody? It's hard to see because there's a light right in my eyes. Um, could, find somebody over here with their hand up. She's throwing her arm up like pretty hefty. Yeah, like that chick. She's, you know, she's double pumping yeah, it. She's got other people looking at her. Pick her. Yeah, that one. Hi, I'm Heather. I can't see you. <laughs> Sorry. I'm short, too, so that doesn't oh. help. Uh, my question is, how did you come up with cuatro quesos dos fritos? <laughs> <laughs> she can pronounce it just beautifully. <laughs> uh, cuatro quesos dos fritos came from an episode written by Tori Walker and directed... Not to be confused with Tori Hunta. Yes. yes. They call me Tori Hunta. Uh, and it was, uh, it was, it's something that's... Or Tori back. Amos, just saying. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, or Tori we, Spelling. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
and it, she wrote it while wearing a Tory Burch purse. So yeah. that was a, uh, it was it was something that is the most disgusting food you could possibly imagine. And I, I love it that people are constantly making it and eating it while watching Psych. So it's something we brought back a couple, a couple times. And I have to say, the dumbest joke I've ever written in the entirety of the show happens after Gus's line, and I cut it out. Because he says, so you ate all the cuatro quesos dos fritos. And he says, yeah, and now I pray for the dawn. And then, this is where I cut it, and you'll be glad I did, because Dulé looks out the window and says, looks at the night sky and says, come on, son. <laughs> that is dumb. Come on. Oh, and he committed. That's great. That is gold. Yes. <laughs> My God. Special edition. Special Unbelievable. edition. Unbelievable. <laughs> Have faith in yourself, Steve. I think like we else? should get somebody oh, in the balcony. Somebody, oh, somebody somebody in the balcony. Yeah, let's right do that. There. Yeah. Oh yeah, and we'll go back there too. Yeah. Yeah. What's up? What's up? What's happening? Hey. This is awesome, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so you guys have a pretty awesome relationship in the show. Do you guys pull shenanigans outside of the show? Ooh. Shenanigans. Outside of the we show. We take ambient outside of the show. What do you say? What do you like? You mean do we play <laughs> pranks on each other and? No, not we're, we're we're pretty normal people. We don't like I don't like put glue on somebody's doorbell or uh. I mean I don't I didn't flatten Dulé's tires when he was going to go propose uh. or anything like We were on the sure air about for a that? long time. We all got pretty old uh <laughs> actually. So it's hard for us to do things like kneel. Yeah. The, like the stuff that you you want to be able to do to pull off a good prank. We just don't really have the bones for it anymore. But. Yeah, the stunts Running were hard. Yeah. 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 Somebody else back there in the back? Stop being so selfish. <laughs> back there. Hi. So. Oh, hi. Sorry. Right. Uh, hi. Uh, I always wondered uh, if any parts of the show were improvised, because uh, like I'm a big guy that's into improv, so. Yeah. James? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> there's a ton of improv on Psych. There's a ton of great writing, and then there's a ton of room to play around and do fun stuff. And, and you know, sometimes it's, it's good enough and funny enough to make the cut, and many, many, many times it's not. Uh, but we always get to do it, which is one of the most, you know, fun elements of doing this show. From the very beginning, this guy... Gave us a very long leash and a ton of real estate to sort of mess around and, and, and do our thing. Uh, so, yeah, we improv all the time on site. And I will say, I got to give you props, which is a pretty new word. It's a word. difficult thing for you pretty to do. Pretty new word, no, props. Uh, because James, for me, has given me some of the funniest stuff. I can't believe he comes up with it. And I'm like a trained monkey. He just tells me and comes right out. And uh, I, I look so much better, but it's mostly because of you, Rodé. It's fun. It's like whispering and pulling a string. and then you Yeah, <laughs> it's true. It just happens immediately. It's I know. Instant gratification. <laughs> well, and I think, you know, you can really tell it with the guest stars, too, when they come week to week. And then you can see it up here, too. You can really tell when they feel comfortable having fun and when they feel comfortable improving with James, with Dulé, with the rest of us. Um, how did you do, Zach? My entire performance was improvised. Um, <laughs> what was on the page was rubbish. And uh, I had, they just weren't really feeling the thin white duke. You know what I mean? I felt like they, no, it was really, really good. But we did, we had some fun oh, yeah. improv we stuff. Oh, yeah, around for sure. Uh, but that's, I mean, I don't know. As an actor, when you get to, when you, when you get to go step into, the, like, this is, this is their world. They lived this world for eight years. Gosh, wow, we are old. And, um, and uh, and you're as a guest, you get to step into someone someone else's completely you know different world. And even though I knew you guys for some time, uh, it's a real honor, and and it's it's sacred. You don't want to screw around with that too much. But you guys gave me so much room to play around, including becoming blonde and British and <laughs> all and all of yeah. that shit. That was Zach cool. only knows one speed, and that's full throttle. <laughs> Yeah. But you know what? There's one sequence in the show that I can tell you was 100% improvised. Uh, in the last Yang, in the last Yang episode where she dies or she kills her dad, uh, we had Jimmy Simpson on some VHS cassettes. 
And that entire sequence was us just messing around in his house with a camera. And we just, we were there for about two hours, and then we were like, okay, did we get everything? Good? All right, let's go. Uh, yeah, Steve wasn't there that day. <laughs> and uh, we just messed around and put it in an episode of television. I mean, I think some of the best stuff and some of the stuff that's most memorable, the pineapple, the, you know, the, the core things that everybody holds on to, so many of them were, were playful or they were improv or it was an idea or it popped up in a rewrite or it's a last minute joke. You know, when you're, when you're you know, doing a comedy show, I think it's important to have the most creative people around you, not just... Not just one, Steve's funny, could write the crap out of a, an episode and it would be fantastic, but it gets so much richer when you have five or six or seven other people throwing little pieces of nuggets <laughs> into, the, uh, into the pot and, and helping it get funnier and funnier and funnier and it gives you options and choices when you're in an editing room. Stuff that you didn't expect would be funny is really, really funny. Um, and so your episodes get longer and longer and longer, and then you're doing supersized episodes, which we had to do a lot. But you know what was one of our great improvs? Give it to me. The three-hole punch. That's right. <laughs> Inspired by Tim Meltrick, everybody. Who's yeah. right there? Three-hole puncher, not funny. Three-hole punch, punch, funniest funny. joke ever written on the <laughs> Thank you, Tim. Um, I can't tell whether we have time or how much time or. No, yeah, let's no, just I keep think, going. Uh, I've got a 9 a.m. There's okay. not another movie in here later, so all I right. think we have all this. Uh, right here, this person frantically waving their arms like they're having an attack right there. That, that, yeah, you, you. Oh, do I stand? Say your name. I will, I'll stand. Yes. Um, I'm Sarah Bard Campbell, the first. Love it. Repeat um, that, please. Fire starter. Pioneer. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm a world changer, but okay. Um, so I just want to say I think you guys are awesome. I put psych on when I'm ever having a bad day. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I guess this is a question for everyone. Um, pineapple on or off your pizza? I really want everyone to answer. I oh, think and off. All pineapple all the time. I would say pineapple off, but cut up and then soaked in some rum. Yeah. Pineapple on with a little bit of bacon. <laughs> on, definitely on. Uh, I, I believe that pepperoni and pineapple is the greatest pizza to ever be consumed. And if you've never had it, then you are missing out on a well-lived life. Los Angeles, pineapple off. Hawaii, pineapple on. Wow. You vote? Um, I'll say, pine can I say pineapple adjacent? Is that a yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I want to see it. I want to smell it. I want it to be very near. As I take a bite of the pineapple as pizza, I want to look at the pineapple and, <laughs> and I want to thank it for being it while I eat my pizza that doesn't have pineapple on it. Go, Steve. I would say not only, by the way, pepperoni and pineapple, you should try it if you haven't done it. Thank uh, you, Steve. Yes. <laughs> it's fantastic. And you should also try the Maui Zowie over at Round Table Pizza is also a fantastic. I'm sorry, there's still Round Table Pizzas? Oh my God, yeah. I saw a Shakey's the other day. I was like, what the fuck is that? They're still around? <laughs> you, can you still get fried chicken Steve, with the pizza? I, I would go to that Shakey's if you gave me the directions. <laughs> but not only should you have pineapple on your pizza, you should, you should have the drink that my wife, who is here tonight, a little applause for my wife. Yes. And a little more for my parents. Yes. Wow. And, and a tiny bit for my kids. Not, not too much. There we go. That's, perf that's the perfect level. <laughs> But what you do is you get the, you know, the sparkling ice drinks? You know, the round the, table? They're, yeah, they're like water drinks. You do that, and then the Bacardi pineapple, put that together with a little bit of ice, stir it up. It's the most refreshing, lightest cocktail. You can have like 60 of them, <laughs> and it's 11 calories. 
But only if you're of age to drink. Yes, of course. Because we like not my really children. encourage underage no. drinking no. here with psychos. No. And, and, and also not for recovering alcoholics. Right. <laughs> None of you, and people with liver transplant on the list, not you either. Or if you're going to be driving, like at yes. a later time. Nobody should have this drink. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll scratch we'll everything just in case. Kristen said, okay. just, yeah. um, Yes, over here. Well, I don't know. You're I so you two line. fight it You're out. You're so right blonde. Now. You I'm have to ask a question or something. I'm just a nice guy. I want. Oh wait, I thought for sure it was going to be the blonde guy. Okay, I can't all right, believe good. It's you. Good. Hey, I can't believe good it's job you. grabbing that. Get in there. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jayani. Hi, Jay. um, hey, Jayani. Huge fan, uh, aspiring writer director. So this stuff is really cool to me. Uh, but my question is. For you guys, what has been the most touching fan moment? Because I know this show touches all of us, and so I want to know how we've done that for you guys. Well, I'm, I'm going to say, you know what? It actually happened today. With the psychos who came backstage, and they formed a website called psychinspires.com, and it really is about all the, the organizations that we're passionate about and other psychos are passionate about, and it's really, uh, I guess, getting other psychos to be... Uh, to, to have a, a life beyond just the show and to be engaged in the world. And I thought that was a, a very touching yeah. thing. Yeah. I agree. Psychispires.com. They also adopted us an elephant in addition to starting that website. Uh, we had so many beautiful, like, unimaginably, like, thoughtful, lucky experiences with um, some kids from the Make-A-Wish Foundation yeah. mm. yeah. uh, over the course Anna. of our times with years. Yeah, the and there Project. was one, um, I'm sure you know her, she's Anna King, and... Uh, you know, she came up to visit us as her wish for Make-A-Wish, and we discovered that in order to do that, she had to take herself off a heart transplant list for 72 hours <laughs> to come visit us in Vancouver. Uh, and we all were sort of, we were floored. And then we were like, you have to go home. You have to, <laughs> this is beautiful, and we're so lucky to have you as a psycho, but you have to go home and, and wait for a heart now. Uh, and she got it, and it stuck, and she's doing great. Yeah. I actually just saw Anna the other day. She came out to Pennsylvania. I was doing a show out there. Because psychos travel. Yes. And she's 18 years old, going to college, and, you know, just a wonderful young lady, so. Huh? Oh, I know. And, and, okay, I just want to say, because it strikes me, that that is a testament to, to the psychos and the fans, how deep... The, the relationship runs between the show and, and, and you guys. Where it's almost a, everybody knows everything that's going on with everyone. It's pretty amazing. And uh, I think that's one of the things that's really special about, and one of the reasons that we got to do this is because of the passion and, uh, and the loving nature of the fans. It's really true. It's really, the, it's really the, the main reason we got to do this. Yeah. Okay, the main reason. Oh, I'm sorry, James. I, oh, no, 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 no. I made a mistake. Yeah. made a mistake. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, five minutes? Okay, you got to talk fast. Let's start doing okay. some rapid fire. All right, some rapid fire. Let's go. Right here. Green hair. Just shout it out. Shout out. What is it? Yeah, we I mean, Makai Pfeiffer and Jaleel White, they're just so busy right now, you know what I mean? As soon as their schedules open up, you know, I think yeah. maybe, we'll, uh, maybe, we'll, maybe we'll start in Vegas and open up for Boys to Men or something like that. Yeah. I, okay. All right, no, wait. Somebody from the balcony, yell something out. Question. Favorite, favorite, favorite guest star other than Zachary Levi? Oh. Zachary you. Levi. <laughs> uh, Jane Lynch. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Next. That's Will good. All right. Uh, right there in the back, tall guy. Tall guy, where are you? No, he's, no, he's right here. Guy. He's this back. I'm you. crawling over you. You said it like he was 7'2". He's a, James he's not a, he's sitting moderately down. Moderately tall, uh, tall person title. with a beard. Yes. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait up top. Wait up top. Go, sir. Oh, yeah. James and Gus. Uh, wait, hold on. You, sir, in the top with the microphone. Stop for a second. Yes, you, standing there. Stop for a second. Yes, you, your sir, right here. Yell again. Will there be an extended cut of the movie? Well, that's a good question. Oh. It'll be like Ooh. a TV. Big oh, question. Boy. You know what's so funny? I was like, rapid fire, Steven! <laughs> <laughs> no! Go! No. I'm on the top of the microphone! Go! Oh, I, no. James, ever... James, and, and Dulé, what is your favorite duo title? Favorite what? Duo title, like, you know, like, peanut butter and jelly, like... Oh, sure. 
This is my this is my partner, Lavender Do, Goon. Oh, uh, maybe Black and Tan. Yeah. Black and Tan was right, pretty you good. Right here. And apparently everybody else's favorite too. Hey, <laughs> I'm moderating, mother. Sorry. <laughs> Gus, favorite Gus nickname. Uh, I know you like silly pants. That's right. Yeah, that's what, that was the first one. That was the one that started the whole thing off. So I like it too. Okay. All right, uh, someone in the back with a mic. Um, know you guys like to sing. Could you give us a little performance right here, right now? Go ahead, Zach. Go, Zachary Levi, everybody. There's one person on this stage that. Uh, no, 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 no. I get, I get paid for that. Thank you. All right, no. The answer is no. Rapid fire, you! <laughs> well, really, it would be for the, uh, for the fourth time, because you've got to remember, in uh, season, season eight, we had a picture of my father, and it was Martin Sheen. And I go, yeah. Papa? And you said Papa. That's right. So there's been three dads. Right. Yeah, that's a fun runner. We've got to get back to a new Gus dad. Mike, right here. Yes. Where was the, where was the blueberry? Blown dead. up. Oh. The blueberry is still dead. May she rest. Yeah. The blueberry was completely destroyed in, uh, yeah. in season eight. And then they got, in the last episode, they got the two wheel driver's ed car that uh, formed the base. And by the way, the, you know what? Extended version, that 18 point turn, you see, that was half of the original. Oh my cut. God. <laughs> it was a 36 point turn to get away from that haunted. But there will be an extended yeah. cut. And, and I hope so. Oh, I, yes. I, I just want to say put our foot an odd down question about the blueberry. If the show is anything, it's real. And the blueberry was dead, we would never bring it back. Yeah. <laughs> okay? We it don't just do doesn't that. happen. This is reality. We don't, we don't bring back dead characters. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You. You. I love Kurt Fuller. <laughs> I love Kurt Fuller's song. Yeah. What do we... Uh, boom any, from the bottom. Uh, boom from the bottom. Boom from the bottom. Yeah. There was some that we actually made up, and then we don't have to pay for royalties. We can just <laughs> sing our own songs. Do it. Do it. Yeah, Do yeah it. you can sing it now because boom. you don't have to pay royalties. From the bottom, bottom, boom. From the bottom, boom. From the bottom, bottom, boom. From the Johnny bottom, on top, boom. From the Johnny bottom, on bottom, top, boom. From Johnny the bottom, on top, boom. From the bottom, bottom, boom. From the bottom, girl. Go, 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 girl. I think. And see, and that, and that chick up there with the singing question, you got served too. See, that was yeah. a double. We came back. We brought it back around. Who's are next? You, are you done, Zach? <laughs> no, next. Yeah, right here. With the blue hair. Fine. Yeah, you go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Just yell it. What did you steal from the set, everybody? Uh, I had the, the newspaper from the, uh, from the spelling bee, Santa Barbara, that was hanging in, his, in the office. I have my nameplate that says Gus. I have a piece of the blueberry rim. Uh, oh. I have a lot of things. <laughs> I'm a kleptomaniac, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> from the movie, oh. nothing. No. I, I, just, I just stole a psych jacket. I still have my Team Grimmy t-shirt. I'm not giving that away. Yeah. Oh, I have some clothes. Yeah. I did take because yeah, Gus was just kind of fine this time. I was like, Gus stepped up his game. <laughs> so you might see some Gus clothes on me if you're walking down the street some days. <laughs> just act like it's new when you see it, though. So uh, ask, ask. And I basically got what I'm wearing. Nice, that's true. In the movie. <laughs> All right, everybody. You did wear that uh, in the movie, didn't you? All right, there it goes. <laughs> I'm no fool. I've been told that uh, we're going to wrap this up. Hey, I but, told you guys. Wait, wait, let it go. Go ahead, there. Okay. One more, one more. You know what? I'm not here. I don't exist. Sorry. Let's keep going. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Ask. Hey, Kurt, could you vacate the, the chair for Zach to sit in? <laughs> Where are... I'm sorry, what was it? A fifth baby Sean, wow. Yeah, we didn't have any... Are we at four already? Yeah, they keep growing up, so I guess if we're going to do flashbacks, we'll have to keep getting new kids. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. That's creepy. Yeah. We, we kept having problems because one would age, one would go through puberty, and then the other, the, the Gus would be, would be the, the same age. So we'd have a new Gus with a different Sean. It got so confusing. Flashbacks are tough. Just ask Corbin. You know, it, it, here's the thing. <laughs> and here's the thing, see, that role is always cast out of Vancouver, and there's not a lot of black folks in Vancouver, and especially not a young black folks, so... It gets hard, you know, we've kind of gone through all the young Gus's up there. <laughs> <laughs> How many pineapples were in the movie? 
One. Yeah. One pineapple to rule them all, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> now it's what? just anarchy. That's just, yeah. This is why we have microphones. <laughs> yeah. Suck it! I don't know how we're going to top that. I, All right. I got one. He's got a one more question. One this more question for Gus. really getting pushed here. here we go. Gus, can you please spell a journamento? <laughs> <laughs> uh, once again, that answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now... Um, this failure, I think, is a good place to end on. Right? Yeah. It's a good yeah. First of all, uh, this, this, actually last of all, I say first of all, that's silly. Uh, this is the last screening, it's the best screening. Uh, you know, we started on the other coast, we ended where we should, right here. And thank you guys so much. It's been awesome. Yeah. Um, but we would never leave you without another thing that you can watch on the screen. So uh, what you're about to see now is a video sewn together of over, I don't know, 2,500 of you and other psychos all over the world tossing pineapples to each other. Um, you can stop sending in those videos, by the way, because it's over. The, the whole thing is over. The video's made. And this is it. And thank you guys so much. We love you so, so much. Thank you, guys. Watch thank the you show. All. Yeah. December 7th.